welcome back. I am here with another pick a pile. I created my first pick a pile the other day and I enjoyed it very much. I got the inspiration from my energy reading and the same is today. Yesterday what came through was doing practice, a practice with water that will help you to go into the flow of this new portal that we are entering right now, this new opportunity that we have to go and seek our dreams, to make some changes. And yeah, so this pick a pile is what exact practice is best for you with water, with the element of water. How is water used in your life or affects you, um, helping you to go into something new? And so doing this reading, I'm going to use this beautiful, beautiful, magical Oracle card deck. It is the Faceted Garden. Um, let me show you the box because it's so magical and it's for me water the water element is very very magical so it is the faceted garden oracle by Claire Mack and this one is all about you know gardens growth and just the seasons and it called to me to do this so what I'm gonna do, it's gonna pick, I'm gonna pick um, three cards and you are gonna choose one or more than one, depending what calls uh, out to you, what calls to you. And let me see, what practice or how does what the element of water show up in your life? That helps you to go into a new process. One. That's number three. Actually, this one is showing. That one is showing for number two. So these are the, the three cards, and I have shells. that can help you. Let me show you these then closer. So these three piles, I'm gonna, gonna um, do the cards, different kinds of cards uh, separately. But down below in the description box are the time sp stamps where you can click on your time sp uh, stamp and it's gonna say pile one, pile two, pile three and that's where your reading is going to start from like i said if more than one pile is calling out there is a reason for it trust your intuition so for the first pile we have this shell for the second one And for the third is this. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time to choose your pile. I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. I'm very, very curious. So I give you some time to choose your pile and I see you in your reading. Hello, pile number one. I have the cards right here and your shell. Let's put it here. This is the card you have chosen. And then I have oracle card, an animal, 
and some tarot cards. So let me see what comes up in how does the element of water help you in the process of going into something new? How does it show up? How does it help you? What practices? Anything that comes up. The wild card. Ha! Huh. This screams like free choice. Yeah. Free choice. Let me see. Let me put this here. wild card ah, that's awesome the sorcerer yeah definitely I see um, rainbow colors yeah rainbow colors let me see what animal showed up ace of shells yeah that is beautiful. I'm going to put him right there. So it, if you haven't had any contact, daily contact with water, and you haven't had really a relationship to it, or have had a practice with it now is the time to go into it and whatever calls out to you it will be magical for you it will create a new pathway the rainbow for me is just like this pathway to the gold you know the saying of at the end of the rainbow and so Whatever you're going to start into a practice with water will be helpful for you. This is a wild card. Whatever speaks to you, if it's drinking more water, if it uh, is splashing water in your face every morning, washing your face every morning, if it's just uh, every day taking a shower or a new practice in cold and hot shower, there is like this this um yeah these practices to do these change showers hot to cold and then hot again yeah Ooh, i'm spilled some water here <laughs> how awesome um sprinkle water on you sprinkle water in the garden that comes to mind uh, if you have an altar bring the water element in like i did today anything that speaks out to you let me see what the tarot deck says six of wands yeah i love how the water element you will be very successful if you connect with water it is a going into action with the water element yeah and it's it's gonna be magical these creatures for me are very magical it's it's gonna be powerful you're gonna you you have a strong connection to water for sure queen of cups it gives you uh, a sense of home it gives you the sense of um, connection to the water it it fulfills you if you connect with water any way you want yeah oops i don't want to put that in the water <laughs> it's funny that that happened now let me put this over here i spilled water of course i spilled water how aligned is that okay nine of cups yeah there's gonna be a lot of abundance if you connect with water every day make a habit to drink a lot of water you're a person that needs water in in your body that way you have a clear path ahead that way um, you have a clear view of your goals 
and you're going to be successful in any change that you do water i tell yeah you need water for sure always go back to water and yeah mm, that is beautiful pentacles yeah like um if you feel lost connect with water if you have a feel of loss <laughs> it's water everywhere <laughs> if you feel frustrated um water can give you the sense of belonging that's what i i i heard here too a sense of home and so you are, might be also a person that feels very very home by the sea the splashing of of um of um yeah waves on the beach it makes you feel at home that breeze of of um yeah the breeze of sea uh, air you feel very at home in places like that and so what can help you also if you feel like this wintry stillness listen to water and especially the waves listen to some tracks that have waves in it that will give you um, this grounding feel if you want to feel grounded and at home listen to water yeah that comes through really really uh, strongly so you re surround yourself with this image of waves this image of being on a beach and it fulfills you yeah this is beautiful and it creates this magic and really um, for you salt water comes through but also drinking a lot of water to clear your body to um, get more uh, clarity mm, getting away the fogginess in your in your mind so cleanse your body drink a lot of water and maybe if you want to take a bath, put some uh, salt in it too. Yeah, salt, uh, salt water is very good for you. But any practice that comes up, it, that, that's the first thing. Any practice with water, you are affected by water uh, strongly and you feel at home by the sea. So it, you can create magic you can go into your new um your new being so to say that came up yesterday in the reading to now right now is an open door for change something happened right now that water can help you going into the flow of things and make stuff happen so i wish you the best of luck listen to some waves today every day if it's only like five minutes a time that's fine anytime you can listen to the splashing anytime you can drink some water drink some water yeah yeah so i wish you the best of luck until next time bye hello pile number two this is your pile let's put that over here this was from the first pile and let's have that in the view your little shell and let me see what we got we have your card that you chose then we have one oracle card and one animal and then we have four tarot cards that will guide us a little bit more let me see what you got and what you chose. The sun. Oh, beautiful. 
I already got a notion a bit. Uh, but let me see. Middle world. Hmm. Yeah. You like watching the water, uh, reflections in water, you like bubbles in water, you like the physical watching the water, the sun reflection, the bubbles, the, the physical things, even you are, you get very excited about the ripple effects of things, if you put like if you drop something in the water and I create something or if you give an offering if you have if you drink cacao or anything of the sorts and you give an offering to water and see the liquid mixing in anything that is like that you do with water like a water a body of water like a lake a um, a river anything that has like these the bubbles and, and changes and ripple effects that speaks to you that makes you happy and that's a wonderful way for you to connect to water yeah being playful with water let me see what comes up here with the tarot hangman yeah it gets you into a thinking state, um, kind of a meditation state. Uh, if you see those ripples, the sunlight reflection or even the moonlight reflection on the water, it gives you like this feel of timelessness. Yeah. Mm. Wands. yeah it gives you how can I say this let me put this over here so we can see all of it so if you do this practice if you watch the the dance of water maybe I can even mim mimic that I water here. Um, let's see what is on here. Oh, I don't want to drop water. Ah! <laughs> there you go. We got some playfulness. So, this kind of things. Yeah, let me do that right now. That happened. I have like these droplets. Mm -hmm. Playfulness. Uh, with water. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> somebody came in. Um, yeah, water, physical water play. Um, some people love um, meditations with fire gazing. Fire gazing gives them some sense of uh, answers to questions and um, that they have for you though it is the water water gazing and what you can do is you can also do some water reflection gazing dance of of water yeah look at that ripples on a lake um, a glass of water maybe maybe but also fun and gives you this kind of gazing meditation is by the water that is bubbly the bubbly water put that in a glass 
put it in the sunshine and then see the dance that comes up never done that but that comes through that information I am so excited I think I'm gonna do that <laughs> I'm gonna buy some bubble water and see what happens with the sunshine going through the glass creating the stance that will uh, be a wonderful practice to you um, to get some answers what to do next and get some answers for how to go on and that's the shift that's looking at something else like it's what um fire gazing is very common to do that meditation get some answers but for you it is going to be the water mm, that is awesome let me see what else we have queen of pentacles yeah yeah it will relax you it will ground you it's a very grounding practice for you for sure five of cups it will calm you down mm. it it is magic to you these dances and it will open up your your eyes again to the possibilities that are around you sometimes we are we we lose a little bit the magic we lose the sense of magic that there is abundance and magic and everything around us sometimes we cannot see uh, the beauty and the magic that surrounds us and every time you lose yourself water gazing the dance of water will give you that childlike wonder again this ah oh, that is so wonderful this is so pretty and just watching the bubbles watching waves watching ripples maybe drop something in the glass of water and see how it dances anything like that will give give you the opportunity to drop back into the magic of your own self-development yeah that is beautiful i haven't i didn't expect these things to come up but this is totally new to me too water gazing <laughs> We are so used to have candles and do uh, some meditations with fire, but with a glass of water, bubbly water, dropping something in, whatever, I never thought of that. So that is a wonderful trick. Wow. So I wish you a fun time with this. You are mesmerized by water, the dance of water. Create your own little magic tricks on your table, uh, whatever, and take some time for this. It will help you for your self-development, yeah. So this was it, pile number two, and until next time, bye. Hello, pile number three. Let me see what we got shell i'm gonna have right here in your viewpoint we got your card you chose and then i have one oracle card and one animal and four tarot cards to clarify see what you got the cave mm. Gives me already a notion here. The wind. Okay. Two acorns inside the focus. Mm. Love 
hearing sounds in caves. And if you've never been in a cave, I think you have to plan on going to a cave where there is also water. And what, what comes through right now as a practice, there are these sounds you can listen to of drops in caves, like as if you are in a cave. And listening to that dropping sound of, um, yeah, of, uh, of, uh, of in a cave, as if you're in a cave. And also with that, the wind too, but both, like this hull that is created in a, in a cave, that echo kind of, of drops. Yeah, let me, let me get some more here. You are fascinated about these sounds. It speaks to your heart for sure. And it gives you this expansion kind of. Ace of coins, yeah. You need to go and visit a cave or if you have no caves close by or there's no other way, a meditation has to do with a cave for sure. Yeah. And you respond best to the water by listening, listening, closing your eyes, that is creating magic for you. It creates this, uh, the senses, it awakes your other senses if you uh, listen to water and a water sound that has like this expansion to it, like this yeah, when, when you hear drops in a cave, it has this echo, this sound of a hall. And so closing your eyes and listening to that water like that, or the water of going through the cave or any hall sound um, of water will give you the sense of magic. Yeah, Ten of pent Pentacles definitely will fulfill you uh, to do that. And doing that, it will help you to transport you to that place. Like I said, if you have no, if you know how, if you don't have a cave meditation a meditation that you go into a cave and with that you transport yourself into the information that you seek that will help you along the way it's gonna clear your thoughts it's gonna expand your vision listening to water in in caves caves are wet places anyways and it will create this new view of uh, viewpoint this this portal yeah that's the right word it is a portal to total understanding of things that makes sense yeah that comes through yeah wow wow so I have a I have a, actually I have a song for you that you need to listen to let me look it up real quick all right I'm back so it is a musician he is called Andreas Vollenweider. He is a Swiss musician. 
and he created this um, album and it's called um, Caverna Magica, I think it's called. Yeah, Caverna Magica. And there is that one song, I think it's the first one in that, um, yeah, it's the first song. And I will play it right now. I hope it comes through. We'll see. There is a train in the background. So just to give you a hint how it's going to go. And that came up um, because he plays the harp and harps have this expansion to it too. This beautiful flow and he compi combines in that song the harp music with, um, with the water sound in the cave, like these drops. And you will get this beautiful vision. You can create total beautiful meditations with, with these kinds of sounds. It will bring you to places that will give you answers and will deepen, deepen the relationship to yourself so that you are grounded. Let me play this a little bit for you so you get the notion what I mean. So this can really give you this feel and your imagination will just come to life. Yeah, your imag imagination, um, it's just like something that triggers you, that can trigger, trigger you and you get that overview of your problems and questions you have. That is one song that came to mind that I know you got. It's like it starts with these two people that actually step into a cave. And then you hear like these noises. It does remind me of that bird in the distance and the dropping of the water and that echo. 
we have the bird here the falcon twice yeah it will bring you visions it's very powerful for you and it you will like travel in your visions and if you have access to an actual cave that would be most wonderful the thing can be hectic, oh. so you can always send the perfect gift with Harry and yeah. David because Harry and David makes it simple get away of course there are commercials I'm sorry about that like I said this is my second time doing pick a piles your pile was amazing absolutely amazing and if you have a cave that you go to a cave that you can actually spend some time in because most caves have these um these tours or some you know that the tours that you don't really have a much time to just sit and enjoy but wow if you get the chance to go into a cave That would be something that you um, that you can do that brings you some insights, some more sight. You can see a lot more if you connect with the water like that, with a wet cave, drops, maybe it has a body of water in there. And just sit with that. Yeah. And close your eyes caves are very dark so for you is not the vision watching water for you it's more the sound of water with that expansion hall to it and being in a wet cave and meditate and if you don't have that like I said listen to sound like this music like this or any kind of things I'm sure there are tons of YouTube videos up out there with the noise of caves with this um, yeah with uh, sound baths uh, cave um, sounds yeah that will create magic for you so that was it pile number three this is very exciting this is very magical beautiful yeah Wow. So I wish you the best of luck. Connect with water. Every day you can do that. If you do it a habit, that is the best to go into that flow state, to go into your new being, your new development. Yeah. So until next time. Bye.